Grant, and I want to lead an expedition to the Marquesas Islands, one of the most remote archipelagos in the world, to try to save and tell the story of the critically endangered ultramarine lorikeet. Although it is to a rather far-flung destination, my expedition explores the truly global themes of how the preservation of indigenous knowledge and the cultural value of nature and society is key to preventing biological eradication. The tiny volcanic island of Uahuka is home to the last population of the striking ultramarine lorikeet, a bird that was once found across many islands. Uahuka is also one of the last refuges of traditional Polynesian culture, and the ultramarine lorikeet survives because these islanders value and protect their native bird. The islanders have a rich cultural history, evidenced in ancient petroglyphs and today in their oral storytelling, singing, skilled wood carving, and symbolic tattooing. Just 500 islanders remain, and I want to investigate and document why the survival of their traditional Polynesian culture is critical for the persistence of the ultramarine lorikeet and the other endangered species of the Marquesas Islands. I spent last summer researching avian malaria on Tahiti, the most urbanized island of French Polynesia. And whilst I was there, I had the opportunity to speak to some local people. And I was particularly struck by a conversation I had with an elderly woman who told me that on the island where she grew up, they called a species of lorikeet by the name of Vinnie Vera. However, today, this lorikeet species is now extinct on the island, but its nickname of Vinnie Vera has been given to an introduced species of bird, the silver eye. I found this story of physical and then linguistic replacement fascinating, and it really compelled me to begin researching the proposed project.